Greetings, I'm Demonac. Now let's slay the Spire. Alright, starting Act 2 of this Ironclad Endless Run, I have been taking damage left and right. I have not done a very good job defending yet, and now I have the Busted Crown, so my card choices are going to be less choice-like and more, do I want this or skip? Because there's only going to be one, unless I get something else that increases them. I don't know, but I'm going to have so much more energy, I'm going to try and use that Berserk thing without dying. So, shop there, I don't have much money. If I go question mark, question mark, question mark, I might have some money for this shop. Elites are easy to find, that's for sure. There's also a shop up there, and then a bunch of question marks. Up there, there's not much more elites. If I want more elites all the time, they'll probably kill me, though. But I can go this way. So, question mark, question mark. Elite, maybe, or I can choose to skip that elite, which is a good thing option to have. I can go this way for an extra campsite if I'm not ready for it. Yeah, I think this is a solid path. This and going left. Oh, I'm going to get my ass kicked so much. It's just an energy potion. Energy potions are good. I have four energy per turn now, so this like upgraded pommel strike is way more useful than it used to be. Hemo this guy for 27. Doesn't quite kill him. I could just headbutt him. He was gonna, I don't have any defenses in my hand. Anyway, so I'm going to take the 11 regardless. So bad. But I could headbutt back the trip. I think we're going to do that. Yeah, we're, we're going to make sure he dies. There's one less guy hurting me. And then we're going we're gonna to hit him with the pommel strike, I guess. There's my berserk. That would make me vulnerable and take more damage from that, though, which is not going to be worth it. It's going to be a short fight. I'm going to do that and get back the trip. But I'm not going to play the berserk, because that will just make me take a bunch of damage, because I'm totally undefended right now. Good job, me. However, trip, infernal, sword boomerang. We have four times for... Oh, sorry, four damage three times. So, whatever, that's a good chunk. And flame, it'll do way more damage. Hello. Take a beating. And then defend. So some more decks. And metallicize so I don't take damage this turn. Because he hits me with his mug. Because that's definitely what that means. Vulnerable bludgeons, not good for them. Fear potion. Okay. Upgraded twin strike, I will take. They're always upgraded. The attacks are always upgraded because I did get the Molten Egg super early on, which is something that I'm never that lucky. Okay, this guy's going to start doing crazy damage next round. And we can't... The trip's barely going to impact him. It's going to knock off one of those things. But uh, let's see what we get from Infernal Blade. Perfected Strike. Wow, that's a lot of damage because I've, I've got a lot of strike cards in here, apparently. Bam. Yeah, and lose some health from Hemo, but let's like just hit this guy in the face. Hit his face right in the face. Probably slam him for zero, why not? Get enough attacks to get the kunai bonus. Okay. We've got four energy now. We can hit him this is fourteen plus thirty-two. That's thirty-six forty-six. We should have him dead. Oh yeah, dead. All right, that was, a, that was a good fight. Possibly the first good fight we've had so far. That one went well. Unupgraded Warcry I'm not interested in. Clogging up my deck. Choose one of 20 cards to add to your deck or heal 28. I'm going to choose one of the cards, obviously. I get way less card choice now, so it's even more important. So Bloodletting's pretty good. All the attacks are upgraded automatically because of my thing. Whirlwind I don't have. Whirlwind's super good. So the days into your draw pile, eh. Grid. Uh, you get another body slam. You can try and set up the body slam tech. Right now the perfected strikes are doing a lot, but I'd like to get rid of those strikes so that it would do less. Cleave is cheap and effective. The iron wave would sort of give me more defense, as with the flame barrier. Flame barrier, pretty good with the uh with the body slams. I only have one body slam right now, though. It's hard to turn down that whirlwind, man. It's upgraded in everything. It's just really good. 
I think I better take the whirlwind, even though there's some other good stuff here. A lot of uncommon cards. I guess the whirlwind's uncommon too. Hmm. Do I have that thing that lets me exhaust a card of my choice, eh? No, of course not. Might be a rogue card. It's been so long. No, we're just gonna take the whirlwind. Fine. So we're going left was the plan. What was right again? I get like question mark, shop, elite, and not a lot of elites. So we'll probably die from the elites, but we're gonna go this way. Ah, oh, this guy is not my friend. He's like elite junior. I have so much more energy now though that I can do that and I can still bludgeon him, which is pretty effective actually. It means I don't get to metallicize, but that's that's a lot of damage I get. Although if I go the other way, if I go because I just hit him, right? Yeah. If I go twin strike and then strike, that would give me plus one dex, and then I could metallicize. But I think th this is going to cut the fight shorter to a much greater extent. Probably should have fear potioned him first. Okay, so now I'm weaker. This would hit him for four times six, which is not good enough. I really should have fear potioned him. This would make me vulnerable, which I would have done last turn, but now he's hitting me, and like last turn it would have been. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't think it's worth that. I really should have vulnerabilized him the first turn. I'm really regretting that. So I'm going to take a bunch of damage. You get a random power. Again, if I was going to do it, I should have done it earlier. This is a random power that's going to cost zero, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's demon form it up and then try and go defense a bit. You know it's gonna hurt. I didn't have the strength from the demon form yet, so the whirlwind for zero would have done nothing. Now whirlwind should do stuff. What do we get from this. Another whirlwind. Okay. Inflame some more. He's not attacking right now, eh? Whirlwind. Well, let's uh, headbutt. Back the bludgeon because he's he's super dead next turn if he's not dead now. Smash. If you me some more, whatever. Die. I used the meat way more than I wanted to in Act 1. Okay, I'm not going to take the Thundercloud. It's, its damage is very low, even though the Vulnerable is pretty cool. I need to upgrade some cards. I've had, like, no resting. Just about so few upgrades. These guys are going to hurt a lot. We want to inflame and metallicize because this fight's going to go on a bit. So we're going to be doing like no damage early on. That's fantastic. I would be tempted to do the energy potion if I had like a pommel strike or something, but you know, I guess I would pommel strike first and see if it was worth doing it. But no, we're going to take a bunch more damage because that's awesome. None of my potions help stop it. Ow. Oh, he's still attacking? Oh, damn it. Whirlwind for 40, which would not kill him, although if I hit him for 20 and then I whirlwind, so I could kill him, which tends to make this guy go berserk, right? Would it, if I vulnerableize him though, Palm Strike does more than one point of whirlwind, so let's see what I draw. Trip. Hey, good news, you're both vulnerable now. Doesn't make much difference. That's 30, oh wow. This is actually, it's not showing the, the it's going to do three, it's going to do 45 damage to him, which is going to not kill him. However, if I do this first, now this is going to do 20 damage, 20, sorry, 30 damage, so I will actually kill him. Although this guy survives to continue hurting me. Because I'm doing terrible. Something that heals me? No, that's the opposite, it heals me. So I like to keep trying to use the Infernal Blade anytime it's an option because it can potentially get me good stuff. This is very expensive. One less energy each time you lose hit points in combat. And it does a lot of damage, and later on it's like free. Uh, this is often going to be very free because I just take damage all the time and my hemorrhage hurts me and stuff like that. Let's just take it. 
take it. Oh my god. Well, my hemorrhage is going to be free. This guy's going to kick my ass. I can make him vulnerable. I can block 13. Right, we'll wind him for... You see, it doesn't show the, the vulnerable bonus because it's an area thing, but it would be 12 times 4 was 48, which is definitely not worth it. I could just hit him for 32 and then block one of his hits and take one hit. 32 is a lot of damage, and it's actually more than that, so it's probably worth it. Use the upgrade to defend. Yeah, sure, whatever, do this for zero. Who cares? Not quite enough for the kunai. So we've got one wound and counting. Um, we really want to inflame if we can. It would be nice to draw something defensive. That is the opposite of defensive. Once again, this seems like a terrible plan. So I guess I'm just going to hit him and then get obliterated. Yeah, I've got more decks for my no defenses. That's good. This one will be all defenses because I didn't do anything. Well, all defenses with the defend is not as bad, I guess, but you know. He's here for 24. God damn. I probably should have headbutted back another defend. Uh, I'm dumb for not doing that, I guess. We need to defend. We body slam him for a bunch, and then we can. That's 14. We could. Pro we should be able to kill him next round, probably. With the bludgeon. Oh, yeah, definitely. In the meantime, we are still getting our butt kicked and needing the meat. Extra 12 hit points of healing every time. Okay, uh, so bludgeon will kill him. We're going to Infernal Blade just in case it gives me something that would heal me. No, that's the opposite of healing. Okay, bam. Mummified Hand. You play a power random card in your hand. Causes that's amazing. That will work well with some of my stuff. Do I want an upgraded War Cry? Two cards and place a hand on top of your drop. I have so much card draw. But exhaust itself. And that's, I was thinking of the dead branch, not the modified head. I'm going to take this because I think effectively that doesn't make my deck bigger, sort of, but it's weird. I could use the rest, but I really need to upgrade some cards if I'm going to make any progress. What can I upgrade? I I don't think I can survive without resting. I'd like that Infernal Blade to be free, though. Trip affecting all enemies would be nice. Berserk screwing me for fewer turns would be nice. Because you can play this on a turn when you're not taking any damage that turn. And and that means when it's upgraded, you only have one turn of you don't know what the enemy's going to do. These would be a lot better upgraded. Ugh. How much do I get from resting? 25. I should, I should rest, but I'm too greedy. I'm going to upgrade my Infernal Blade. Now I can do this for free whenever it comes up, which is once per fight. But And we're going to go here, even though it's suicidal. All right, well, the, with the right cards, we can crush these guys. And look at that. Uh, so I can play the Metallicize. And, oh yeah, that's a power. It makes something else cheaper, which is even better. I can now Whirlwind for, like, a lot, killing all those wieners. He's not attacking this round. And I can Headbutt him for extra damage, and it gave, gave me back my Whirlwind. I didn't have it. I didn't get the choice there because there's, because the other one exhausts itself. And I got to trigger the Kunai because of the Body Slam. Attacking for zero was well worth it. So now he's buffing. He buffed no one, basically. He buffed himself, actually, but... Uh, my blood for blood is expensive. That's the one drawback to otherwise kicking so much ass. So I can just whirlwind him for... Tw yeah, 4 times 8. 32. Uh, this does more than more damage than one whirlwind hit. This does less than three whirlwind hits, though. So let's palmal strike see what we get. Inflame is good. Oh, and it's a power, so it makes something else cheap. Unfortunately, it was the defend, which is pointless. But now, when I whirlwind him, it's hitting him for more. Yeah. Sure, defend. Why not? 
Uh, excuse me. Unfortunately, my whirlwind is gone now. He's got all these guys. But uh, we hit him for 51. And, yeah, we should be able to obliterate him. Too vulnerable. Pantograph we badly need. That 25 hit points before a boss should hopefully let us actually, like, upgrade some more cards. I don't create a shockwave. That does a lot of stuff, but it's it's expensive. And it's not, I think, what I need. What do we got? Gold. No question marks are now safe. No more regular fights in question marks. Good news. Purple fire spirits. Receive a reward based on the offer. I'm gonna offer them a card. What do I have that's like uncommon or rare that is not that great? I could offer them the berserk, and I think that would give me something. You know what? I never, I never actually played it. It's too like risky. I'm just gonna trade this in. It's fine. Max hit points increased by ten, and you're healed to full hit points. Uh, I'm gonna say that was worth it. Does that mean that I can go the elite route? There's one less campsite, which is one less upgrade, but I get two more relics. Although this is a question mark and an extra upgrade. Let me reuse these potions. Relics are really good. Let's go relics. Because the elites are only going to get harder later. I might as well get as many relics stacked up as I can. Okay. Uh, I could metallicize in the first round because they're not threatening me in the first round. On the other hand, I could also pummel people with my pommel. The pommel pommel. Oh, metallicize will make something cheap. Hold on. This will make something cost zero, right? If I go, if I play these three cards, that's three energy then it'll only be the one card I draw, or the or the bludgeon. Alright, let's 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 try it out. Playing the defend pointless? Uh, let's palm strike first, I guess. So, and... We strike him. We metallicize. 50-50 chance of free bludgeon? Oh, of course not. You know, I should have used the energy potion, played the defend for, and then I would have gotten the bludgeon guaranteed and I could have made it work. But I can't, so, boo. I did some damage to him and I did get my thing, but these, with three of these guys, it's going to be much harder to kill them in time, which means it's going to get worse and worse. Okay, so right now I whirlwind for 32, that's pretty damaging to them. They're not hitting worth a damn right now. So I can also, I can trip him. This does more than one whirlwind hit, but if three whirlwind hits is 24, which would not kill him. So unless I want to spend the... You know, I've got three potions. I should just spend an energy potion. Oh, look at that. Six times eight. You guys should be... Oh, man, I should have vulnerable the tougher one. Okay, whatever. Probably doing this wrong. Die. I knew no more than one was going to survive, right? So I'm still healing you full. From a blade in case I got... Because there, there are technically attacks that can give you a permanent gain. Didn't get one, so whatever. Uh, see if I can block... I don't think you can block the hit point loss. No, you can't. Barely healed a full. Attack potion is good. So I want an upgraded combust now. That's seven damage to all enemies every turn for one hit point. I'm going to take this... Now I have enough stuff to make the, uh, to get some value if I get any of those, like, hit point gain type things. Things that give you rewards for getting hurt. And, uh, these guys are pretty dangerous. And I don't have a whirlwind or a card draw, so that's great. This will make something cost zero. So will this. Man, I wish I had a way to draw more cards. Okay, let's attack potion. Reaper would hit them all and heal. Unfortunately, the healing doesn't help me as much. Let's take the Carnage. Okay, free. So he's doing 14. Can I, I do 20 to him? And another 14, that's 34. Plus 6, it's 47 exactly. If I haven't screwed up, which I probably have. So we're going to play the, uh, yeah, because this is not costing me anything anyway. 
Italicize is going to make something else free, so that's fine. Bing. Six. Get that extra dex. Defend. Combust them all. He dies. That's great. Takes some damage. Still in the healable range. Infernal Blade is now free. Free Perfected Strike. Neat. Um, let's see what I can draw from Pommel Strike. Whirlwind. So I could Whirlwind for 18 whole damage. That's not very impressive. I could use the other Energy Potion and then I could Whirlwind. It's still not very impressive. Warcry and see what I get. Hemo hurts for a lot. So if I Hemo him, that's 13, and I'd have two energy left. It's just not going to work. Their, their defense hosing was too much for me. I could headbutt and then pommel strike something back on top of my deck. No, nothing. There's a defend plus. Which would stop one of their attacks, I guess. So that's probably what I should do, just be a little bit more conservative. And defending will let me body slam for some damage. So, headbutt my upgraded defend. Almost strike to draw it. Play it. And now this is not killing him, eh? No, but if it, with the body slam, it is. Play that in case. Yeah, kunai. Alright. Yes, you are tripped, you are striked, you are striked, you are defended. All that jazz. Fight complete. Fight complete. Start combat with two additional cards. That'll be good if, when we start getting innate stuff. I'm not going the evolve route. Okay. I hate this guy. Sometimes he's like an elite. Okay, we can bludgeon him. He's, he's attacking first round, though. That's pretty harsh. I mean, the blood for blood will be cheap later, but right now, not so great. Oh, well, the free blood for blood's pretty good. Man, we can hit him for so much damage, but it's not, like, enough so much damage. Also, the metallicize might make something free. So, let's give it a shot. I've got some expensive things. It did make an expensive one free. That's going to do a lot of damage to him then. Bam. Bam. Now, I could bludgeon him for 32. Definitely not fatal. Or I could pommel strike him, draw some cards, and maybe get some defense. So I'm not killing him this turn anyway. So now he's vulnerable. That's a bonus. Uh, I could pommel strike for another draw. Right now I can block 9. I'm not going to be able to increase the amount I can block. Is there anything else I can realistically do? I guess I could draw the body slam. Eh, whatever. It's as good an attack as anything. Of course, I'll both my good ones. So I could energy potion and block another 9. He's hitting me for 24. If I do this, I'll have 18 plus 3. He'll be hitting me for very little, and I get to headbutt him as well. The boss is coming up pretty soon. I'm gonna heal twenty five from the thing though. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend that potion. I think I can now rationally save it for the boss. Okay. Uh huh. Work cry some stuff. Nope, that's way too slow. We don't need that right now. Uh is the inflame even helping? Hemo's gonna hit him for oh, okay, he's he's dead. Let's just sure, whatever. It doesn't actually matter then. Because the Pantograph is going to heal us 25 from the boss. Play the top card, draw a pile, and exhaust it? No. I mean, you can set stuff up with Headbutt, but no. I keep drawing that Blood for Blood too early. Especially against this guy. Like, against him, it'll be better later, because he's going to hit me. But, like, no defenses in this hand right now. Let's War Cry. Put the blood for blood back on top. Um, he's got, yeah. So I'm bludgeoning him for fi almost fifty damage. I'm gonna take that fourteen. 
Uh, if I defend, I'll still take most of the damage. Uh, okay, we're, we're, we're going to bludgeon him. So that's too good. And then we're going to defend. Or win, even though it's not going to be enough to trigger the thing. He's still going to get two full hits on us, which is two wounds, which is bad. But he's making the blood for blood cheaper, which is good. Um, now he's hitting for 24, which is unpleasant. I, I really need some stuff that weakens. I did get the body slam, so I can stack on these defends and then get damage out of them. So we're definitely doing that. But we're going to blood for blood, for because it's cheap. Body slam. Got the kune tech, but a little bit late. Uh, hand not ideal. I remember Metallicize can make something cheaper, but right now that's not helping. Hemo for... That's... Am I going to be able to kill him this turn if I do that, though? No, it's, no, clearly not. It's 37. Uh, there's no way I can get enough damage. Even if I put this out, it's only going to be... Like, I'll take 3, and then he'll hit him for 25, so no. So we're, I don't, I'm not going to combust, then. I'm just going to... Well, we'll uh, metallicize. Makes the hemo free. Okay. I mean, I've got the energy. I could just combust. But I think blocking is more relevant. Okay, it didn't take too much that turn. Stuff going on. You should be super dead. Oh, Reaper heals me. See, that's why I like that, I like that Infernal Blade, because sometimes it'll give me something that's relevant. So, if I inflame, hit A, make something cheaper. Didn't hit anything that matters. But I can now Reaper and heal six off of him. I wasn't in the meat range anyway, so it didn't matter. And Pommel Strike, and I can kill him with the not the one that doesn't hurt me. Red Skull, while your hit points are at or below 50%, you have an additional 3 strength. I'm sure that doesn't come up later. It's not something not ideal, but the Predator Skull will be good for me later. Armaments, the upgrading, all my attacks are already upgraded. I don't think it's worth going with the armaments. I need more defen defensive stuff that actually defends more or cheaper. I ha can, however, upgrade something because I'm getting the 25 back from, like, the Pantograph. So, like, this does not become an 8. It just becomes slightly better. So that's not that impressive. What boss are we... The, this thing, okay. Because this becomes all enemies, which is pretty good. Having these just do more strength is also good. Headbutt does get played pretty much every time, but that's just more 3 more damage. I think the... Uh, I think having trip affect everyone is probably good. Although, honestly, I need more defense. These stuff to exhaust cards that are bad and stuff like that. Okay, let's see what we got from Infernal Blade. It is a body slam! Okay. It's not going to help this turn, but sure. We can flame something cheaper. Twin Strike. Twin Strike's pretty good. So let's Twin Strike him. That will metallicize too, because we're obviously going to do that. I was going to headbutt anyway. Headbutt back my Twin Strike. And then trigger some kunai. Well, that was a pretty solid first turn, but okay, now the guys are out. Uh, there's no card draw here. This is not a great hand. Dexterity Potion would block a little bit more from this. I'm just going to take a whole bunch of damage, though. There's not much getting around it. This is 24. This is 18. So that's 32, 42. So I could kill one of these guys... Actually, if I do these two. Okay. That that helps a lot, actually. So we'll do two damage to someone. Because uh, I get energy potion, do a tiny bit more damage. Tiny bit more damage from this, but also just, like, block some. I think I should save that for later. I think it'll do more later. Start working on it. More kunai. More. More dexterity. Ow. Combust ought to be good against this guy. Let's uh, let's trip them all. Do I want to bludgeon this turn? Bludgeon plus the combust will kill this guy. Oh, I'm going to take all that damage. That sucks. Let's put this back on top. It'll be good for next turn. So we're going to bludgeon this guy. Oh, bludgeon will just kill him straight up. Okay. In that case, I may not combust. I may just defend. Instead of taking one more hit point damage every time, that's ten less hit points damage I take this round. 
Well, that whirlwind would be great in some different turns. Follow strike. And follow strike, reshuffle. I should have whirlwinded before I reshuffled. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I can't actually do that conveniently. This is not working. This is not a great turn. I'm getting more of that stuff going. I really want those whirlwinds when he has his guys, though. Oh, right, that thing. Well, I'm glad he doesn't have any guys to take advantage of that. Now he's summoning. Now my blood for bloods are free. So, yeah, let's, uh... How much is Twin Strike doing? A lot less. Okay. Blood for blood. Headbutt for blood for blood. No, actually, headbutt for whirlwind. We want the whirlwind back. As much as getting blood for blood back would be nice. Well, now that it's free. But we need, to, we need to be a little whirlwind, these idiots. I can energy potion, whirlwind them, take them all out. I'm still weak in this stuff. This is only seven per energy. Although, oh, trip, they're all vulnerable. Now it's hitting them for, I don't know, like 10, 10 per energy, which means for 40, I would actually kill these guys without even using a thing. So, okay. Yeah. That's working well, whatever that is. 37 I don't appreciate. I would rather not be hit for 37. Can I do anything about it? Not much. More defense. I got two body slams. Okay, we're going to go full like speed potion. Luck 10. Luck 12. And now we... I could energy potion do more stuff too, but whatever. Hit that. And... 18. Oh, wow. If I energy potion, you just die. Okay, that's even better. I did use all my potions, but whatever. Got this such good stuff. The Mummified Hand and the Molten Egg are super, super powerful, and a lot of this other stuff is fine. The Andrograph's good. Get my Berserk back. More energy is good. I'm going to take it again. I'm going to, like, not take it. Okay. Excuse me. Not seeing enemy intense is pretty bad. This is just an up. This is a four point upgrade to my burning blood, which is not that exciting. Whenever you lose hit points, draw a card. Later on, that might screw me or something. I don't know though. This seems like a good idea, but my stuff's not that cheap. But it would give me a lot of cards all the time. This would give me more energy to cast them. But man, not seeing intense is bad. Or just heal more every fight. Uh, no, I'm gonna take the runic cube. Probably a mistake. I guess we're gonna find out in Act Three next time. Please click the like button before it clicks you, and check out Tales from My D and D Campaign on YouTube.com/slash Demonac.